Hello, how are you all doing today? My name is Bernie Thompson and today's Scopes Tricks and Tips is going to show you how to use your scope as an advanced misfire detection system. What you're going to need to do is have an input from the crankshaft sensor and I need some sync trigger. In this case we're using the coil command to turn on and off the coil for cylinder number one. Let's decompress this data where we can see what's going on with it. Now we can see that what we really have is a basic crank shaft position sensor waveform and the coil fire for number one. Let's go ahead and further decode this. So here we've got the crank sensor and we can go through this crank sensor and we can see that well from this crank sensor it's just going to be really hard to find what misfiring cylinders there are from that. I mean this could be really difficult to impossible. So what we need to do is to aid ourselves with an algorithm. The algorithm is going to decode this and it's going to show us where our misfires is. Let's take a look. The first thing we want to go is to the tool tab. Once we're in the tool tab we need to pick the firing order for the car. In this case, our firing order is 18726543. We're on cylinder number one, and now we're just going to process that data and let the machine tell us what cylinder is missing. Now the analyzer has indicated cylinder seven has nine misfires after 50 recorded fire cycles. As we can see, each drop here is a misfire. These are all misfires. What we want to do is we want to take the zoom window and we want to zoom in on this a little bit closer so we can see it. Each time we drop the crank velocity, that's a miss. So let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more and let's take a look at what we can see here. Now, we have these ripples and these ripples are actually the crank shaft velocity changes. Each pink mark is top dead center for that cylinder. So here we came to top dead cylinder and the piston slowed down because it's compressing the gas space within that cylinder. It peak compression is the slowest point the crank is going to turn. So now I've slowed the crank down but we have a spark and that spark has the point of ignition and then combustion occurs. Combustion is the gases being heated and expanding. This forces the piston down which in turn accelerates the crankshaft. Now the crank is accelerated and now another cylinder comes up on its compression stroke and it slows that piston down to the point of top dead center. It now fires the gas and fuel within that cylinder and I speed up until I come to the next cylinder compressing that gas stock and I slow down. It then fires the fuel, accelerates the piston and it comes down and slows down a top dead. Now is what's really cool is when the combustion event does not happen, the crank does not accelerate, it deaccelerates. That's this drop in RPM. So this is a drop in RPM. Now we have cylinder seven miss, seven under cylinder miss, and it's because once we fired, I did not get a faster turning crankshaft. In this case, it's indicating that we have misfires and we've located on cylinder seven. This is a great ad for your, your arsenal. Every day I'm in a war against cars. But you know, we've got to be able to win the battles to win the wars. Advanced algorithms like this can help you do that. A lot of times you'll go to a car and you can feel it misfiring and there's no codes. And that doesn't help us because I need to know what cylinder it is. Or let's say I got a P0300. That's a pretty worthless code for us. It just says that a cylinder is misfiring. I can feel that when I'm in the car, same as you can. What we need to know is which cylinder or cylinders are actually misfiring. That's what this advanced algorithm is going to help you do. So next time you're working in your service bays and you have a misfire, just turn on your eScope Elite and you'll be an ace at finding misfires. Good troubleshooting in your service base.